And we're live. Happy December 8th, guys. Thanks for joining me. It's just me and Elle today. Roy and Estelle decided to join us. They've been up to all kinds of mischief and fun at the Harmon Center. Um, if you check out our page, um, you can see everything that they've been doing from playing pool and ping pong to coloring and playing bingo and dominoes and so it's been a lot of fun and I know they've been having fun themselves. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good day. Just trying to get pulled up. December 8th, Oops, guys. And you can hear me. <laughs> oh. So it is December 8th. It's just Christmas is going to be here before we know it. It's just flying. Um, but I did print off holidays because we haven't done them a lot lately. We've been so busy with other topics. Um, but today is December 8th, like I said, and it is National Brownie Day. Um, tomorrow is Christmas card day. I don't know if you guys have gotten your Christmas cards out. I just finally got mine in the mail on Monday, so goodness, it's a task to get those out sometimes. Tomorrow is also National Llama Day, so wear your llama gear, I guess. Um, Friday is Human Rights Day and International Animal Rights Day and the Dewey Decimal System Day. Then on Saturday, it is International Mountain Day. Sunday is Gingerbread House Day. Has anybody put together their gingerbread house yet for this Christmas season? I have not even started mine, as you guys know. Um, I just moved, so it's been crazy busy of unpacking. Um, I'm about running on E with my energy, but I'm here. And then next Monday is National Violin Day, National Cocoa Day. Oh, that makes the holidays good. And Tuesday is National Free Shipping Day. So that's pretty cool if you guys are still trying to get Christmas stuff in, which I'll tell you right now, I've ordered a couple things off of Amazon and it, I have Prime and it's only supposed to take two days, but it's about a week wait now, so if you haven't ordered your stuff, you might want to go ahead and do it because shipping's taking longer than normal right now. It's getting backed up. But speaking of Christmas shopping, because we have all those special people in our lives that we are going to get something for, there's some fun and funny gifts out there for you guys to and we're back. I I don't know. Apparently we had technical difficulties. So sorry guys. Hope you can find us again. I don't know what's happening with my camera, but apparently it didn't want to work. But as I was discussing before um, the video shut off, um, if you're looking for funny and fun gifts, especially around this time is um, white elephant parties that people have. And so you have to find the fun and funky gifts to, to bring to the party. So I found a few. And then just a quick reminder, we're having a white elephant gift exchange on December 17th at 1 p.m. It's a Friday. So um, come join us. Bring a gift, $15 or under, and you can participate in the, um, in the game of itself so basically if you guys haven't played white elephant everybody brings a gift and then everybody picks a number out of a bag and you're going to go in numerical order number one gets to pick the first gift out of all of them and then it goes so forth two three four the second person can steal um the gift that number one had gotten or um uh, they can pick a gift from the, the pile themselves. And then at the end, number one gets to look at all the gifts, and if they decide to steal somebody else's, then that's the, that's the end of the game. Um, 
and there's that varied rules that that's how we'll be playing it here and so if you're looking for that special gift for the white elephant i found a few funny ones you can apparently get your face put on a pair of socks if you want um, another one is a puzzle of a picture i thought that was pretty cool um, so you can get your favorite picture printed and um, put the puzzle together. And I don't know if you guys have seen it, but they have Lego ones now to where you send in the picture and then they Legoize your photo and then you put it all the little bricks together and it makes your photo. It's pretty cool. There are They are expensive though. I looked into it. It's about $50 if you want just a small one. But it's it's a neat gift and if you were getting it for like a grandkid or something, I know they would love it. Like my boys, they love Lego, so that would be something fun for them to do. I also found a Baby Yoda Chia Pet. And um, for all the single women out there, they have Grow Your Own Boyfriend. You can uh, get that off of Walmart.com. And it doesn't tell you how it's going to do it. I guess so you just put it in water like those grow animals you can get for the kids and they expand. So check that out. Then I also found um, a drink more water bottle. So it starts up at the top of good morning, hydrate yourself, remember your goal, keep chugging, feeling awesome, don't give up, almost finished, you did it. So it's a good reminder to always remember to drink your water because I know I I have to keep a gallon jug in my office to remember to drink my water. They also had on their deep sleep pillow spray. So if you can see, it's a spray that you put on your pillow that has essential oils in it. And it's supposed to help you calm and, and get better sleep. Then there's little mini hedgehog planters that if you have little tiny succulents, you could put those in there. Those are pretty cute. Um, and if you are a cat lover, I found this baseball cap, it says cat dad. So my dad, that, there you go, dad, you got a hat. You, you should order that. That's pretty cute. And this one, I think I'm going to just have to order this for myself because I laughed so hard this morning when I found it. So it's this art print and it has a toucan on it. On the top, it says two can, and I'm going to get up mm -hmm. so you can really see this because I laughed way too hard at this. And on the bottom, it says two cans and it's head down. <laughs> so I just thought that was pretty funny. And then I think I found Michelle's Christmas present. You know how she loves Jason Momoa? Well, they make a Jason Momoa coloring book. I also found heated animal slippers and a yoga sweater of different poses. I think the slippers are pretty cool. They keep your feet warm. And you can also order a teeny tiny vacuum cleaner for your tiny little messes you make at your desk. They have the goofiest stuff out there. If you just look up funny Christmas gifts 2021, you'll find all kinds of crazy stuff out there. Then there's a wine glass and wine socks combo, and it says, if you, can, if you can read this, bring me some wine. And then on the glass, on the bottom, it says, seriously. And then keep going. And now we're talking. Fill up your wine glass. They have a burrito blanket. If you ever felt like being a real burrito, there's a blanket for you. And then I found this uh, Christmas tree literally a suit that looks like a Christmas tree. Mike said he might order that for himself, but uh, it's just crazy stuff like this. And then this one on top, I'm about to show you. Um, I actually did order this. I have a white elephant party this weekend with friends, and I ordered this for my gift, so if you guys are watching, then you'll know what I'm bringing, but it's okay. It is a miniature wacky wavy wacky wavy inflatable guy that you can put on your desk um and then i also found a dwayne johnson the rock 
coloring book. And then this one I thought was pretty funny. It's an exercise block. And on it, it says, place block on floor, walk around it twice, sit down, and relax. Congratulations. You have just walked around the block twice. <laughs> so... Just the craziest things out there. And then if you if you have little Star Wars fans in your family like I do, there is an R2-D2 measuring cup set that when you put it all together, it looks like R2-D2, and then you break it down, and it has the measuring cups you can use. So I thought that was pretty cool. So there you go. It looks like if you just look up 2021 crazy Christmas gifts um, or funny Christmas gifts, you'll find all of these. A lot of them are on Amazon, um, and I know yesterday I was looking at Amazon for um, white elephant gifts, and I don't know what it is about the hot thing this year, but if you haven't seen them, just Google it. There's a fanny pack that looks like a belly on the front, so when you have it on your stomach, it looks like your stomach hanging out of your shirt, and it's like a furry dude belly. I don't think I'd ever wear that or purchase that for someone. But you know what? There might be somebody that's goofy that would like that. Um, and then, oddly enough, there are calendars of dog pooping. I don't know. That was like 10 of them that I flipped through yesterday on Amazon. You start going down Amazon and you, you get into, uh, as Michelle calls it, a rabbit hole. <laughs> but um, other than that, I... Like I said, I've moved in to my house. It's getting crazy to do with that. Um, we did get to go get our Christmas tree uh, this past weekend. So that was fun. Um, and if you haven't gotten your Christmas tree and you do real Christmas trees, because I, I just love the smell and the look of a fresh Christmas tree every year, um, go on down to Fruit City. They have a great selection. It's $30 for a tree. They're huge, and they come in all different sizes, but the, the one we got probably was about seven feet tall. Um, beautiful trees, and they're just great guys and great owners of that um, shop down there. So Fruit City and Union Gap, go check them out. The boys and Dolly all picked out their tree this week. Dolly was a little confused. I think she was kind of thinking, like, uh, yeah, why are we bringing a tree home? We're doing good. So. But she's kind of getting to the holiday spirit. And we had it all decorated. So there's our tree. And then our elves at my house have been doing all kinds of crazy things for the kiddos. Um, ours are named Bob and Sally. Um, and this is what they left them yesterday to do. It was a polar bear science experiment. So you, you take gummy bears and you get four cups. One, you just put water in, the other vinegar. Then you make a mixture of baking soda and um, water. And then another of water and salt. And then you put a gummy bear in each one and you let it set for about three and a half hours. Then after those three and a half hours, you take them out and see what happens. Um, the, the water is the one that made the gummy bear the biggest. Um, the second one was the baking soda, even though it kind of like ate away <laughs> a little bit of the gummy bear. Um, and then salt, it just kind of deteriorated the gummy bear pretty much. So if that's just a fun little Christmas experiment you can do with your grandkids or your kiddos. Um, next announcement. I'm going to give you a preview. You can't look inside it. But the Pacific Northwest Trips and Tours catalog is all ready. It is off to the printer. So... It should be coming back here to get mailed back to you guys the week of Christmas. So that is exciting. Lori is out in Dollywood. If you haven't seen her live video of all the gorgeous places that they've been going and fun things that they're doing, please check out um, Yakima Harmon Center and AC Trips and Tours. She did a live video yesterday um, and was showing all the lights. And it was so pretty. And the funny thing is, uh, Lori, if you are watching, um, when you said you did a live video and then I clicked on it and it was dark, and I'm going, why is it dark? It's not dark here. And then I forgot you guys are three hours ahead of us. <laughs> so, um, 
other announcement. We have our volunteer of the month, and I'll be putting out her article on the parks website um, either this afternoon or tomorrow morning. But congratulations, Linda Locke, with this beautiful lady right there. She is just a wonderful person inside and out. Love her dearly. So congratulations, Linda. You totally deserve it. I hope you are using your parking spot as much as possible when you come here. Um, Linda is from Yakima. She's been married to her husband, Ken, for the past 51 years. She has three children and eight grandchildren. She's a retired teacher. Her hobbies include technology and spending time with her grandchildren. She loves to laugh. Three words to, to describe herself is faith, hope, and love. I love that. And that is Linda. She's just amazing. Um, she started coming to Jewelry Group on Wednesdays with her friend, Janet. And while she was sitting in the group, she looked over at the coffee bar. Now, while she was working as a teacher and would have a rough day, she would think, oh, a dream job would be to work in a coffee bar. So Linda filled out a volunteer application, and then she started filling in shifts that were open at the coffee bar and volunteering. And now she has a regular shift every Thursday morning. So please come have a cup of joe with Linda on Thursday mornings and get to learn more about her and how wonderful of a person she is. She's um, involved with the Yakima Valley Senior Citizens, Inc. for years and is currently the uh, new vice president for the board for the 2022 year. She is also our one of our trips and tours hosts. So please come on down and meet Linda, as well as all of our other volunteer all-stars that are just amazing people. Thank you to all our volunteers. We just couldn't do it without you guys. It, unbelievable the dedication and the time and the energy that you give this place to make it so wonderful so thank you oh Lori you are in Pigeon Forge nice I hope you guys are having fun it looked great yesterday those lights were beautiful and I know Dollywood's got to be gorgeous right now with all the lights and hi Roberta I hope you are doing good and AJ, I see that you had asked, are we having Santa again this year? We are having a breakfast with Santa. Yakima Valley Senior Citizens, Inc., they are having a breakfast with Santa this Saturday from 9 to 11. It is $5 for breakfast, and for kids four and under, it's $2.50. Um, so you get your whole breakfast, and then come bring your phones or your cameras to take your pictures with Santa. Santa will be here from 9 to 11 this Saturday. No need to um, RSVP. Just come on, and it's going to be a super fun time. Um, Michelle is, uh, she had a doctor's appointment, so she is not here. I know, it's just me and the elves, oh, Lord. What did you do? Um, other announcements, we have walking in the ballroom that's going on right now. Um, so if you want to put your walking shoes on and come get your steps in, every Wednesday and Thursday from 1 to 2, it's free. We've got good music going on. I put the Guardians of the Galaxy um, music on. And so just come groove and walk around the ballroom. We are still doing our walking group in the park, so um, even though it's cold, I, late, you ladies are in beast mode, I tell you what, because we went out there Monday, it was 31 degrees, but we were still wanting to walk, so it was a good day. We are out at Chesterly Park right now, and um, you want to meet around the roundabout in the parking lot. Um, we're the one that, um, the second parking lot to the park that has the big sign, Chesterly Park. The first one is to the Y but it also leads to the park. So go to the second one where the sign for Chesterly Park is, and then we'll meet at the roundabout 9 a.m. on Mondays. Um, we also have our essential oils class coming up. Rana does a fantastic job. She's already set up for next year with more classes. Can't wait. Um, the one for December 13th, Monday at 1030, is going to be oil from the Bible, so that should be a good one. We are still doing our Toys for Tot drive. We will be collecting toys till next Tuesday. So if you would like to donate toys to our drive, please do. They don't need to be wrapped, just new. Drop them off at the front desk and um, 
we'll get those all donated. We have about 200 toys sitting out in our front office right now. So I'm so excited that our drive has done so well this year. Grooving with Leslie, if you want to come exercise with me, we'll be grooving at 2 p.m. It's dance movements with good music. Um, so 2 p.m. Wednesdays and Thursdays, it's a dollar drop in to come take the class. Uh, it's a good workout, gets your blood pumping and moving and you're dancing around and having a good time. We have a great group that's been coming, so please come join us. Um, we are getting all set for the 2022 year. We have all of our events planned. I'm just trying to get it all typed out, so we will be getting a Set list schedule out on the flyer table so you can see what's coming up in January, February, and March. Um, I made our chat face flyer for the holiday season. As you can see, Lori is greeting us in a Christmas tree outfit. Michelle's riding the train, and I am flying on a reindeer. So don't forget to watch us every Wednesday, 1 p.m. Keep up with what's going on at the Harmon Center and all our crazy things that are going on in our lives. Because we don't, we don't have a lack to tell you. We just tell you like it is, and it's just us. We also have our ugly Christmas sweater party coming up. It's not this Friday, but next Friday, December 17th, is $4 to come to the dance. Or if you just want to come listen to the music, it's a dollar drop-in. And there will be a prizes awarded to the top three favorite Christmas attire. So either wear your really nice Christmas sweater, because I know... Some of the ladies had said, uh, well, I don't have an ugly Christmas sweater, and I know what I said. I said, well, that's fine. Just wear that, because top three will be picked, whether it's a goofy, crazy, ugly Christmas sweater or a cute one. We're going to let the, the participants decide the best one at the party. So there'll be cookies and coffee and water. Gary Melner will be our musician. He's fantastic, so it's going to be a rocking around the Christmas tree ugly Christmas sweater dance and social. It'll be a lot of fun. So please come out next, not this Friday, but next Friday, December 17th, 1.30 to 3.45. So I printed off a little thing. I'm sure I did all my announcements for all the upcoming events so much. I've got to start making the flyers for 2022. It's just crazy how fast time is going. Um, but it's the best classic Christmas movies of all time. And I don't know if you guys have an all time favorite Christmas movie. Um, we just go through a plethora of movies every year because it's hard to decide which one is your favorite. I do have to say one that's a staple that I have to watch. There's actually two. One is, um, the Muppet Christmas Carol. If you guys haven't seen that movie. It, it is the funniest thing. It's just goofy, silly, Muppet, make you laugh. I love the Muppets. And if you do love the Muppets and you haven't seen it, please check that movie out. It is just really, really good. And then there's also um, the one with Chevy Chase for Christmas Vacation. I, I mean, it's just one of those movies you have to chuckle at. It's just so good. But if you guys have a, a favorite one, um, Please let me know. And Lori, I see you see I have a story about that. I, please tell us your story about what which topic were we going on? <laughs> but if you have a favorite Christmas movie, write it in. I'd love to hear it. Um, other good ones that they had on the list was the um, old Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, the claymation. I mean, you you can't get better than that movie. That's a good one too. A Christmas Story with um, Alfie, and then the Santa Claus with, um, oh, I can't think of his name, Tim Curry, or Tim Curry, not Tim Curry, Tim Allen. Um, but that's a good one as well. They have three of those. I just recently um, realized I have not seen all of them. I saw one and two, but I haven't watched the third one, so the boys and I will have to watch that one this year. Elf with Will Ferrell, that's always a good classic one. A Charlie Brown Christmas, that's a good one as well, can't miss out. And How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Now, I I don't know about you guys, but of, of all the movies 
that have come out of How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Jim Carrey one is good. And I know there are some people that like that one. But I love the old cartoon one. I think that one's the best one. You can't get better than that. And then, Lori, you said, oh, Trapped in Paradise. That is a good one. With Nick Cage, Diana Garvey, and John Levitt. They also had The Holiday, Home Alone, which if you guys have Disney+, Plus, they just put out the fourth Home Alone. Um, it's a cute movie. I haven't seen the newest one. Um, the boys and I will have to check that out. But if, if he gets left alone again and his parents forget him, at this point I'm going, okay, don't forget your kid. Why do you keep forgetting your kid? <laughs> um, it's a Wonderful Life, Scrooged with uh, Bill Murray. That's a good classic one. Miracle on 34th Street. Die Hard is on here. I just, I know people think Die Hard is a Christmas movie, and I understand. I just, I never was a big fan of Die Hard, but people love that as a Christmas movie. The Nightmare Before Christmas. There you go, Michelle. There is yours. It's on the list. Bad Santa. Meet Me in St. Louis. And the Polar Express. Oh, if your grandkids or your kids love trains, the Polar Express is so good. Christmas with the Cranks. Um, that's a good one, too. Um, that one has Tim Allen in it as well. But that is, the book itself is really good, too. Um, so if you haven't read the book, it's, it's a pretty comical book and a comical movie. And then, let's see, any others? There's Frosty the Snowman, White Christmas, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Um, some of these I don't know. There's some new ones that I, they may be like Hallmark movies or ones that have come out on Netflix that I just haven't checked out. Um, but if you have any others, <clears throat> please put in the comments your favorite movie. But that's about all my announcements for today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing you next week. And I think all three of us should be together next week. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We'll see. And, Lori, you stay safe out there and keep having fun and posting those fun videos. Um, I know you guys are having a blast. But I will see all you guys next week. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget, Saturday, Breakfast with Santa. Come check them out. Get your picture with Santa, 9 to 11. Have a good week and a good weekend. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching Chat Face with the Harmon Center Girls. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Like or share as well. Have a great day.